We're rolling. Good morning. Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter here on YouTube. Hot as hell still in New York. It seems like it's getting a little cooler. It's like like 77 degrees right now. It's uh, July 3rd, day before Independence Day. I just wanted to do a uh, shout out. You guys deserve this. I mean, this is, um, yeah, it's my site. It's got my name on it, but just to the people that participate in the comments, I just want to let you know that you are, uh, I read I read all the comments every day and, and um, I don't always have time to, to scan the real news or whatever that means. But I, I, uh, I lean on your guys' opinions for my opinion, you know? I read the comments, I comment, so I wanna thank you, uh, Sterling Price, Judy Cop, uh, Pat Hacker, uh, Matt uh, Dario, Matt the Dario, thank you. James Gomez, Kurt Elliott, Susie Elgin, Susie Elgin, I'm sorry, I messed your name up. Susie Elgin, uh, Vote Green, and new guy, thank you very much, Politicor. Ooh, ooh, Politicor, coming in with some heavy, heavy research. I love it, I love it. You're doing the uh, uh, Alejandro Ocasio Cortez. <laughs> so I want to talk about. Um, I want to talk about the the latest distraction. I I, I have only, I've I have only spoofed on ice. That the left is ice. I gotta abolish ice. You gotta get rid of ice. <laughs> I've only said that, but the fact is, ice um, was a timely distraction. I wrote some notes. A timely distraction to take people away from the seven hundred billion dollar military spending that the Senate and Congress just passed. Right. <clears throat> While Senate and Congress was passing a seven hundred billion dollar, you know, how do the senators turn around, congressmen turn around, and say abolish ICE when they're funding these these federal organ these federal police organizations? Right? Right. But anyway, and the and the mass election fraud that's going on in this country is being covered up by this latest ICE issue, right? It's 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 just a timely distraction because Trump is 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 pro pro border, and the, the the lunatic left has been convinced that borders are the are, are Satan are are trying to you know uh, keep people from immigrating. They want to destroy families. No, it's fucking not that at all. So I just want to talk about ICE for a second, then I'll let it die, right? So ICE. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. What is it? That's what ICE is, right? And uh, it's a federal program, DC. It's, uh, I, I, you gotta research this. I'm, I'm, I'm reading from the good book of Wikipedia. Uh, 20,000 employees in 400 offices. Hmm. That's not that big. 20,000 across the country is not, is not that big of a force. And what do they, what do, they do? Responsibilities. Identifying and eliminating border economic transportation infrastructure security vulnerabilities. I don't know. It sounds like something we need, right? See, now I'm I'm a fan of demilitarizing all police forces, not just fucking ICE, right? So, so that's their responsibility, right? Now, we live in a we live in a police state, right? NYPD has 45, let me read it right, 45,000 officers alone. They employ 75,000 people in the city of New York. That's just one city in New York. What about Chicago? What about LA? What about, uh, you know, the, the cities in Texas? What about the, the big metropolises all over the country? How many militarized police forces do we have in this country harassing, arresting, ticketing, illegal ticket quotas, illegal arrest quotas, militarized police driving around in fucking bulletproof cars with, you know, tackling people and filling up the prisons with petty crime, right? And you're talking about fucking ICE. You're talking about a, a federal, technically outside of the border enforcement agency that prevents border leaks. And that's what you want to focus on? What about, oh, they separate the kids from the families. Oh, separating the kids. Oh, the fucking kids, you can't do that. <laughs> what about, what about go to, go to the fucking, go to Rikers Island and see how many, how many fathers 
the, the NYPD separated from their children for fucking petty larceny or, or, or jumping over the turnstile or smoking on the subway. It's bullshit. Get your fucking head out of your ass, you lefty. Uh, so anyway, ice is a giant distraction. That, that's all I wanted to say about it. It's that you have to take care of your own. You have to take care of America. What about, you know, ten, hundreds of thousands of militarized police in the United States need to be abolished, need to be incredibly downsized, if not abolished. You don't abolish, abolish the police. We need police, but you need reform in terms of law enforcement reform where, I mean, like, you know, you take the Eric Garner situation here in New York where there's a 400 pound guy and the two, two tough cops tackled him overly aggressive. That was un, uncalled for, unnecessary. You have to restructure the way, you have to re-educate the way po police execute their, uh, execute their arrests. They could have thrown a net over that guy. They could have, they, there could have been a million ways to, to apprehend him rather than jump on his head, choke him until he falls down and then handcuff him, right? For example, right? But let's talk, I like when, when people talk about that, right? I know, sure, the, the, there's, most people want to make it a racial issue, but I don't see that, I didn't see the Eric Gardner uh, situation as a racial issue at all. I saw it as, a, as a, an issue of bad policing. But as far as ICE doing some sort of law enforcement function where they separate and detain, I, I don't have any opinion of that. All I know is that it is a giant distraction. If you really, really care about this country, Stop talking about some, some very, very microscopic issue at the border designed to keep, you know, immigration intact, right? Because we don't really have a, right? we don't have a set policy, whatever, right? Building a wall is not a solution, but certainly the, the solution is economic, of course. If you want to stop illegal immigration, it's, that's fairly easy. All you have to do is enforce the employment laws, for example, in New York City. When you go into a restaurant, most of the, the, the kitchen staff, they speak Spanish. It's uh, uh, Mexican, Dominican. Right? I, I also put on the record that Alejandro Ocasio-Cortez is not a migrant, right? Her mother wasn't some poor migrant from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is a commonwealth. They don't need a green card. They don't need, they, they're citizens. But throughout New York, you have these, um, you, you have, uh, illegals working in the kitchens because nobody else wants to do the job. Nobody wants to scrub the pots, right? So if you want to solve immigration, that's how you solve it. It's always an economic problem. But you can't blame the, the you know, the companies that hire Mexicans, they, I see, you see them here, even in construction. You see, you know, people, uh, illegals uh, gathering on the corner and a truck comes by, they ain't pay them $40 a day to do slave labor. Right? That's the way you eliminate, but, but, Fucking eliminate ice! You don't know what you're talking about. That's the that's the the, the 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 goofy, stupid part of the whole ice hype. Is that most of the people hyping it are, are lunatics on the left that hate Trump no matter what Trump does. It's Trump's fault that there's fucking ice. <laughs> so that that's that's all I wanted to say about that. It's it's um. Eliminate all militarized police in the United States. Let's go back to, let's go back to nice, nice. Let's go back to, you know, the 1970s, 1980s, where police were human beings. They were, they were, they they didn't outnumber citizens. <laughs> you know, they didn't drive around beating people up and, and writing fake tickets and all that shit. So, my name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter here on YouTube and candidate for the United States Senate someday. Peace.